Hi, my name is Brad Miller from Source One Environmental. And today we're going to go over a four inch pipe patch from A to Z. Your kit comes with everything you're going to need to install your patch, including instructions, trowel, gloves, tape, two protective sleeves, one's for your dry run and one is for your live run, two part silicate resin, your fiberglass mat, and twist ties to secure your mat to your packer. Every kit on the back comes with a checklist. First thing on the checklist, test your equipment. Since we're doing a four inch patch, we use a four inch piece of pipe to test your packer in. You're gonna inflate it. Once your packer is inflated, note the PSI, write it on the box. This is at 18 PSI, write it on the box so I know for later. Now we're gonna take this down and find our spot of repair and get a measurement. There's a spot of the break, and we're gonna take this camera head directly underneath it. Directly underneath, now we're gonna make a hard mark, a tape mark. So when you send your packer down the line, you know where to stop, you know where your break is. Next, we're going to hook up our airline to our packer. First thing is to hook up your flex adapter. This has two purposes. One is to help get around 90s and bends, and the other is to protect your air fitting. Next, you're going to hook up your push rods. This is your air feed. There. You want to protect these connections they can hit on offsets or cracks or anything else down the line and could come disconnected. We want to start on this far coupling because it has a lip. We don't want that to catch on any of the offsets. And as you can see, we've done this all the way down our system. Every connection has been taped and covered. Next, we're gonna hook up our retrieval cable. Now our system's hooked up and ready for air. Okay, next we're gonna transfer our measurement. So on the packer, we have pack outlines. This is the edge of your patch. We want the head of this camera to be in the middle of your packer. So we're gonna put it right next to the air system. Make sure that head's right in the middle air system and then we're going to go down to our hard mark that we made earlier. Here's our hard mark. So when we push the system down the line, we're going to take it to your hard mark and you should be right under your spot of repair. Next on the checklist, we're going to prepare our packer and perform a dry run. 
these sleeves are size specific to whatever patch you're doing. So we're doing a four inch patch, these are four inch sleeves. Okay, so you want to put your packer in the middle, in the middle of the sleeve, you're going to pinch it tight. One side's going to go up, one side's going to go down. Take this on as tight as you can. You want this to come back with the packer once the patch is done. On the other end, whatever side you flipped up on this end, you want on this side also. So one side up, the other side down. Now in the middle of this, there's a bunch of air trapped in here. So what we need to do is on these fins that you've created when you folded these flaps, just make a quarter inch slit to allow air to release from the middle on all four fins. Just the fin, you do not want to get into the rest of the plastic. Now our packer is prepared for the dry run. Now we're going to hook our packer back up to our airlines and send it down to make sure we can get the packer to the spot of repair. This is the dry run. We're going to take this to that hard mark you transferred from the camera to the system. Here's our hard mark. All the way to the edge of the pipe. We know our packer is now right under the spot of repair. Okay, now it's time to mix resin and wet your patch out. So your fiberglass mat has a shiny side and a shaggy side. Your shaggy side gets wetted out first every time. Now we're going to take our bag of resin. We're going to grab this aluminum foil pouch and slide it off, exposing your resin. Just going to mix it together so you get a creamy peanut butter look. You take your scraper, get everything out of the edges and corners. the color you want. You put two thirds of the resin on the top and the remaining on, on the other side, the shiny side. Take your resin, spread this out as fast as you can. You're going to cover all the white. Make sure everything's saturated all the way through. All the white's covered. Now 
we're gonna take our patch and flip it over to the shiny side. And the remaining of your resin goes on this side. Again, making sure all the white is covered. Nothing shiny peeking through. Make sure you get all them corners and edges. Very important. Okay. So you're going to take one side and bring it to the middle. I'm going to bring the other side to the middle and you're going to overlap the other side about an inch. So from this edge to this edge should be two, two feet. I'm going to fold your plastic over to keep the mess out. Now we're going to put it on our packer. The pack outlines that I mentioned earlier, those are going to go to the edge of your patch. You want that patch in between your pack outlines. I'm going to take the edge, making sure that the plastic's tucked underneath and not in between your patch. Make sure it's rolled on tight. Now we're going to use twist ties. And these are two of them put together. I pre-did these before we started. You just give it a couple twists on each end to keep them both together. I usually lay these out and put the patch on top of them. So we use four ties, two really close together in the front, because this front edge gets the most abuse, going through concrete pipe, hitting offsets, things like that could peel this patch back. We don't want that. What we're gonna do, bring it up, cinch it down tight, twist, twist. That's all you need. You don't need any more than that because it could break the ties. And we're going to cut off the excess. Now our patch is ready to be put in the line. Now we're going to send our patch down the line and repair that spot. Here's our hard mark. You go right to the edge of the pipe or the top of the manhole if it were. Now earlier when we did our test inflate, we wrote down what PSI we needed to get it to. So PSI is 18 PSI. So we're gonna inflate this packer so that needle reaches 18 PSI. And now on every kit has a cure time, depending on what temperature it is. So we're inside, we're about 73 degrees. Working time, we have 15 to 17 minutes. Cure time, we have 60 to 70 minutes. So about an hour to hour and 20 minutes cure time at this temperature. 
Okay, it's been an hour and a half. We're going to deflate and remove our packer. Want to grab a hold of your push rod and give it a quick shove. And you want to pull on your pull cable rather than your airline. We're going to go down and check out our patch.